Hello, my name is Matt Ellis. I'm the president and owner of uh, Extreme Precision Inc. Well, this is our 20th anniversary. Um, we started out with just uh, just me and in, uh, in a garage, um, you know, 20 years ago, and it's uh, it's pretty amazing that we've gotten this far. Um, now we're about 15,000 square feet, 20 employees, and uh, you know things are just moving along great. I was always interested in uh, motorcycle racing, especially dirt bikes and uh, motocross, and um, I was always wanted to make things for my motorcycle better. Um, so in high school, I took a um, like a, a metal shop class, but I also uh, worked at a company that uh, made racing shocks, and um, so I pro basically progressed into uh, uh, into their prototype uh, department, and making all their prototypes for them. And uh, after a few years of doing that, I just realized I can do it myself. I definitely like being a part of making something that's that's important. I like being part of helping medical companies get their product the way they want it to work. Making things interesting to me that I know how it goes or know what it's for, that really excites me. Well, I've always been an advocate of lean manufacturing. That's where the manufacturing is going these days too, is trying to get rid of waste, get more done with less. We were looking into getting a, a horizontal machine tool. We've been running verticals uh, for a few years uh, at that point. And um, I bought another Japanese, uh, big name Japanese machine tool. Um, but the entire time I was, people were telling me, you gotta buy a Mikino, you gotta buy a Mikino. And um, I didn't at first, uh, I bought another brand and um, Ran it for about a year, and it, it was okay. It wasn't. It wasn't. I wouldn't say bad by any means, but uh, I ended up buying a uh, Makino machine tool because it had everything I wanted in it, and uh, it was just night and day difference. Before we got the MMC, uh, we were doing a lot of repeat jobs that were 20s and 40s, and um, we had to have quite a bit of inventory uh, to keep things going, and uh, that just made our cash flow. Um, really hard to deal with. We'd have to run larger uh, inventories. We'd have to have operators at every machine uh, loading the machine tools, machine stopping, the operator load it. It, um, um, it just made it more chaotic instead of a real smooth system. Um, we bought a D500 uh, A51 cell um, where we are, when we already had an A55 we, which we put into the cell on top of that, but uh, the reason for those investments were we, we wanted to be able to run uh, shorter volumes um, and keep less inventory. Um, and with the cell system, we could do that a, a lot better. The D500 cell system was a big investment for extreme precision. We, um, we thought it would take a lot longer to pay it, pay it off or, or see a return on that, but it really only took about a year. Lead times have improved drastically, uh, especially with jobs that we've already run. It's just a matter of uh, uh, loading the cell and pushing start. Um, so we can do stuff the next day for customers. They call us up and they, uh, if they forgot about an order or didn't place an order in the, in the a certain time frame, we can still get it done for them the next day. So our customers love us because of that. Since we bought the uh, Mikino D500 cell, we've seen a huge improvement in workflow um, and cash flow, uh, both. I would say probably uh, 30 to 50 percent in that range on, on the workflow and dramatically improved cash flow. We do a lot of just-in-time POs and Kanban type POs where a company will order 200 pieces, but they want to take it in uh, different deliveries at different times. So we don't have to run all 200 pieces and then put that in inventory. We can just run what they need at that specific time. Uh, with the Makinos, it just seems like you set it and you go and it just runs and runs and runs and runs and runs without very little change. I mean, they just repeat. We run, you know, plus or minus five thousandths is not a big deal. That's pretty common. Uh, but we'll run 10,000 uh, all day long, and uh, on the Makinos it makes it a breeze. I mean, there's there's been many times where I've been out on the Makinos, and 
I feel like I was pushing it, but then when I look at the monitors and, and it, it's barely doing anything, it's, you know, 20, 30 percent. And, uh, you know, I, I'm just blown away that I could push it a lot harder and I feel like I'm going to wreck the machine and, and I'm not, you know, it's, uh, it's uh, really, uh, they're just incredible. With the uh, D500 cell that we have, there's quite a few uh, jobs that I couldn't even imagine doing before we had this piece of equipment. It just, they were far too complicated, had far too many close tolerances that we could even imagine holding. Uh, with the D500, it's just made it a breeze. A lot of the work, a lot of the work is coming back to the U.S. from China because of the bad quality and longer lead times that their things are taking. Um, but not only that, a lot of the work has become harder, and uh, which can't be made in China. They, uh, a lot of companies are relying on companies like me to get to um, to get this stuff done. In today's manufacturing environment, it's all about saving um, costs and saving time. Um, with Makino's D500 cell system that we have uh, at Extreme Precision, we can do that. Thank you.